Today on our 2008 Toyota Sienna, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Curt Custom Fit Class 2 Trailer Hitch Receiver with the inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter opening. Its part number is C12065. Alright, here's what the hitch looks like installed. As you can see, we're going to have our cross tube. It's going to run all the way across the rear of the vehicle here. It's kind of a rectangular shape. I think it's one of the nicer looking hitches here in the back of the vehicle with that square shape tube. We've got our inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening. And we're also going to have a nice flush reinforcement collar here around the end. You can see our safety chain connection points here. These are of a plate style. Pretty good size opening in there. Should be able to get just about any style of safety chain connected there that you would want. See here is going to be the pinhole that we're going to use for attaching all of our items. This is half inch in diameter. This is going to work out really well with any class two accessory you might choose. Now as far as towing goes, we're going to have a 350 pound tongue weight rating. It's the maximum downward force we can put right here at the receiver tube opening. And we've got a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating. It's going to be the total weight of our trailer and anything that we've got loaded up on it. Of course, we do want to check the owner's manual on our Sienna, see what it's rated for, and we'll go off of whichever of those numbers are the lowest. And when hauling non-wheeled loads, so something other than a trailer, Kurt does recommend the use of a stabilization strap. Now a couple of measurements that will be helpful in selecting your ball mount, bike rack, or hitch cargo carrier will be from the ground to the inside top edge of our receiver tube opening. We've got about 11 and 3 quarters of an inch. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about 2 and a half. Now to begin our install, we need to get our exhaust down and out of the way. What we're going to do is just take a support strap. You could use wire. I got a cam buckle strap here. Just going to run it from side to side underneath the exhaust. We'll tighten it up just a little bit to give us some support. That way we can control how far down our exhaust comes once we remove the hangers. Now we'll have two hangers here in the front. Got one here on the driver's side and one here on the passenger side of the pipe. We want to spray those down with some lubricant. And then we'll have one right back here. Use a pry bar or a screwdriver, whatever we've got handy. This should give us enough room to get in there and work. Now we can take a look at our attachment points. We're here on the passenger side. This was our rearmost exhaust hanger. Just behind that, we're going to have a weld nut here in the frame. Then we'll have two more, one here and one here. Now you can see these have some rust and some corrosion in them. So we want to use some penetrating oil. Really want to spray it up in there. Now we're going to take our nylon tube brush. We want to clean our threads out really well so our bolts will thread into them. This is part number 814092. Now we're ready to raise our hitch up into position. It's a good idea, get an extra set of hands to help guide it in place. Then we want to take our M12 bolt and our conical tooth washer. The teeth of that washer need to face up towards our hitch. And then we can thread them in. Once we've got one side started, we'll allow it to rest there and we can go start our other side. All right, now our hitch can hang out. We'll start our other four bolts. All right, with all six of those started, let's take a quick look just to be sure we have our hitch centered with the vehicle. And then we'll get those snug down. And then torque them to the specifications, which will be listed in our instructions. Alright, now let's get our exhaust put back into place. It's a good idea to re-lubricate those hangers to help our exhaust slide back into position. The one back here in the very back, I like to use a screwdriver for. I'm going to place that in. It's going to allow me to pry down, allow my, align my hitch, and then I'll pull out on it. The rest of them we should be able to slide on by hand. That one just can be a challenge. Now let's pull down our 
safety strap there, and our hitch is ready for use. And with our exhaust back in place, that's going to complete our installation of the Kurt Custom Fit Class 2 trailer hitch receiver, part number C12065, on our 2008 Toyota Sienna.